Hi everyone, so today I will be uh, refilming my Burberry nail tutorial. So that's how uh, the pattern looks like. And it's a very unique, very nice uh, design that I haven't seen anybody wear. And um, when I wore it, I got a lot of compliments on it, which was very nice. And um, what really fascinates people is how the lines are straight from every angle. And that is my tip to you guys to uh, make sure when you draw a line to look at it from a different angle, make sure it's straight, uh, just flip it, play with it, play it around, uh, and if it's perfectly straight, continue. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let's get started. Alright, so I did two of my nails already just to uh, show you guys where to draw the lines. I will be using a white thin tip. Uh, black and red uh, and the background color is uh, Glamour Game by OPI. So I'm gonna start by taking my uh, white pen tip and I will be starting to draw the lines. So first pick a side um, for the black and white you would want it to be on closer to this side or the other side but uh, don't draw it in the middle because uh, it doesn't look as good. So I'm taking my white and first I'm going to draw a thin line. Like that. Then I'm going to look look at it from a different angle to make sure the line is uh, straight. So just going to correct it a little bit more. like that. Then I'm going to make it a little bit thicker because we're going to draw black in between. Of, um, I'm in the middle of the white line. So that's our first line and then we're going to go across, go horizontal and draw another line closer to the tip, approximately uh, this much close uh, to the tip and continue the line. Like that. Again, make sure it's straight. Look from a different angle. So then make this line a bit thicker just like the other one. Once you're done with that, take the black, black thin tip, and then go in between in the middle of the white line. Like that. So you have that, and then um, go over it again to make it a little bit more darker. Like this. And go back to white and uh, correct the line. like that. Then do the same thing from the other side. Um, then there is going to be another line over here after the white after the white one. like this and you can always go back back to white again and correct things a little bit and make them just the way you want them uh, looking from another angle going back to black making the line a little bit more straight in the corner here Okay, so um, then keeping the black, 
I'm going to go across over here. I'm doing the same thing, drawing the line in the middle of the white one, dividing the white into two. Okay, and I find it's the hardest to draw like that. And then we're going to correct it. Dip the brush in again, clean it off, and try to draw on top of the black line like that. So messed up a little bit, but the good thing is that we can always go with the black and uh, correct it and make it look more perfect. So. Like that. And I need to make the white line, the top and the bottom, just a little bit thicker more visible and once that's done I'm gonna go back with black and um, make the black line just a little bit thicker also because they don't match the other lines the vertical lines like that then the last step, go with the black and make it just a little bit thicker like this. And the last step is red. And as you can see, these ones, uh, they're almost in the middle somewhere, the red line. So that's a guideline. We're going to go approximately over here. I'm drawing the red line very, very thin like that. Looking from a different angle and make sure it's straight and make it a little bit thicker. Like this and now the horizontal line left and when with the red horizontal line is see it's a little bit pretty much the same distance as from the tip then the same distance from from the black line to the red one so that's what we're gonna do approximately over here I'm going to carefully draw a thin line for now. Like that. Then make sure it's straight and fill it in. Fill the line, make it a little bit more thicker. Alright, so this is a finishing look and this is how your nail should look like and um, I really have to say that uh, patience is number one key in this um, tutorial. So I, I um, recommend you guys try this out and you will see you'll get a lot of compliments uh, because this is a very unique design. So I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Bye guys!